Okay, update. Like, we're in Milan, so <laughs> we're in Italy. We're doing the dang thing. So, um, yeah, that's that. One of 500 birds that are being judged today at the show. <laughs> uh, ah! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! You brave, brave soul. <laughs> oh my god! If I get. <laughs> The coolest thing I've ever done. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh. Ah. Oh, what am I now? This one likes me. Okay. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> So, if you're coming to Milan, I highly recommend doing the feeding the pigeon things. Um, Charlotte says no because she's afraid of birds, but that was the most amazing thing I have done in like, maybe not my entire life, but like, that was insane. There's so many pigeons. Look at all those chickens. Pigeons and it was so cool, but if you're going to do it, make sure you bring a couple euros because the little guys who give you the things, they'll say it's free. It's not free. Nothing's free. I feel like I should update whoever is watching this. The reason we weren't able to go inside the cathedral, or the reason why there's no footage of being inside, is because it doesn't open until later tonight, and we don't have time to come back. This trip was supposed to be like a budget trip, you know, whatever, doing our thing. I have impulse control. That's what this is called. Impulse control. Um, we spent our entire savings at Chanel. We're snacking for lunch. as I am as to how much I spent over my three days, two nights in Milan. Stay tuned because you and I are both about to find out. Let's see, I got my handy dandy spreadsheet of everything that we spent. So, first off, we took a 20 minute Uber from the train station to our hostel and that was 10 euros each. So we split it because there's two of us traveling. And then the train from Paris to Milan was 89 euros. And then we took one last taxi um, from the hostel to the train station to come to Venice. And that cost 750 each. Again, split. And then for accommodation, we spent a total of 55.67 for two nights at Queen Hostel. And I will highly recommend this place. The atmosphere is great. People are amazing. Everyone was so, so nice. 
free Wi-Fi, free breakfast, I mean, great equipped kitchen. Can't really beat that, am I right? On food, oh, we got gelato, and then we only ate out one time, and we split that because we got pizza. And what else? Oh, and then we bought groceries for the rest of the time. So, total on food was twenty-one seventy-six <laughs> for three days. Yes, I will take the applause. Thank you. And then a few things that we did. I say we, me, uh, that are not necessarily necessary is the lipstick that I'm wearing. It's by Chanel, so that was a cost that was not foreseen or expected or that you might make if you go. But it was 34 euros, so not too shabby. So that's probably what someone would have spent on like a sweatshirt in Milan as like a souvenir. So we'll take this as my souvenir. And then I also bought some art supplies and that came out to around 1343, something around there. So the total cost for three days, two nights, all the meals, all the accommodation, all the travel, everything, including weird cover fees that Milan has um, thing is, right here I'm not saying it out loud because I haven't calculated it yet and I don't know what it is but it's this much so I will say October is definitely the time to go definitely bring a raincoat and an umbrella because it was wet damn girl this shit is wet but it the weather is perfect honestly I mean pff, there's no better place to be in October than Italy so bougie but there's some costs that I made that maybe you may not make to make it cheaper, such as art supplies um, and where you're coming from also plays a big part into your cost as well. But I mean, for three days spending 21 euros on food, I'm honestly like, so it can be done. And now people are walking in. I was just freestyling, my bad. 